10 things to do in Brussels. Brussels has a vibrant cultural and creative scene. Brussels, the capital of the European Union, is home to the European Commission, the European Parliament, and the NATO headquarters. In this video, we'll be counting down the top 10 things to do in Brussels. Number 10. Galleries Royales San Hubert Galleries Royales San Hubert is a high-end shopping mall near Brussels Grand Place. This glass-covered venue, built in the mid-19th century, features several boutique fashion designers, including those who have made garments for the Belgian royal family. If you like Belgian chocolate pralines, Newhouse has been a tenant at Galerie Royales Saint Hubert since 1857. The Théâtre de Galerie, one of Brussels' royal theatres, hosts classical plays and operettas. Number 9. Organize your own Art Nouveau themed walk. If you like Art Nouveau, you'll wander about with your head in the clouds a lot since Brussels has many architecturally significant buildings. Some areas such as saint Gilles, have a more dense concentration of Art Nouveau residences, which you may visit by following the popular walking tours. Number 8. Shopping in the open-air markets If you don't want to be caged up on summer days, the markets of Brussels should be a very appealing choice for spending the morning or afternoon, seeing items of various kinds, and taking something as a souvenir or eating on the go. You not only discover colorful fruit, freshly baked items, and farm fresh food, but you'll also appreciate the filmy ambiance as the hustle and dynamic between vendors and buyers are almost like a film that can be watched at any moment. Number 7. Visit Atomium The Atomium Atomium is one of the most recognized and bizarre constructions in Brussels. The futuristic steel structure is made up of nine stainless steel balls joined by massive metal tubes to form an iron crystal. It was built as the showpiece for Belgium's World Expo in 1958. Four of Atomium's top spheres are open to the public. One of the spheres has a restaurant, while the others house permanent exhibits. Number 6. Explore St. Contenaire Park's museums and monuments. Escape the hustle and bustle of Brussels by visiting St. Contenaire Park, a public park that opened in 1880 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Belgian Revolution and the birth of the modern country. The park was intended to be more than just a public place, but also to house monumental monuments and memorials. The spectacular St. Contenaire Arc, which took decades to build, stands towering in the heart of the park and is impossible to miss. Number 5. Visit the Royal Residence The Palais Royal, the official house of the royal family, is the most popular site in Brussels. The royal family is presently based in Laken. As a result, this palace is available to tourists during the summer months and adds a remarkable addition to the list of things to do in Brussels. The bizarre yet wonderful mosaic can be seen in one of the palace's chambers, which has a ceiling covered with beetle wings. Number 4. Enjoy Le Botanique Le Botanique was historically the city's botanical garden and continues to draw a great number of visitors today. The greenhouse, which goes back to the 19th century, now routinely hosts a variety of performing activities, making the venue feel more like a cultural center than merely a garden. If you like greenery, the neighboring gardens are still intact and present in all their grandeur. Number 3. Relax at Brussels Park and Mini Europe Park Looking for a green place in the city center to go for a walk or enjoy a picnic? The historical Royal Hunting Grounds at Brussels Park, spanning 32 acres, checks all requirements. Simply locate the Belgian House of Parliament and walk the wide avenue down to the enormous pond to get access. You'll get to see the Place du Trône, the Palace of Justice, and the Royal Palace, three of Brussels' most notable structures. Meanwhile, another must-see attraction in Brussels for families is Mini Europe Park. Number 2. Maison d'Andois Maison d'Andois is one of the most popular tourist destinations for waffles and other sweet treats. If you enjoy delicious pastries, you should visit Maison d'Andois in Brussels at the Grotte Mark. Number 1. Pay a visit to the Musical Instruments Museum. The Musical Instruments Museum, often known as the MIM, is housed in an Art Nouveau structure approximately a half a mile from the Grand Place. It was a former Old England department store erected in the 19th century. More than 1,200 instruments from around the world are showcased in four galleries. The museum also allows visitors to hear how these instruments sound. Inside, a restaurant has spectacular city views. Recent visitors were astonished by the range of instruments housed within the museum and the structure itself. Ready to go? Let's give you something extra! To take out the hassle of finding a great place to stay, we've compiled a list of all our top hotel choices in Brussels. Thank you for watching the video till the end. 
smash that like button and tap the subscribe button to keep watching more helpful travel guides. See you in our next video.